Hi folks, this is your friendly neighborhood Sabbath School Doodle team here, and we've got a cracking lesson for you this week. We're talking about Esther and Mordecai. We hope you're ready for this journey. Are you ready for this trip? Okay, let's go. So, let's get to meet you first. Now tell us, we're curious, have you ever gone undercover? Are you a master of disguise? Or are you a foreign government secret service agent? All right, in case you got nervous, let's try something more relatable. So, are you a foreigner where you live? Do people ask about your accent or the language you speak? Is that different from the local tongue? Well, that sounds like you then hold on to your Bibles because this week we explore the life of Esther and Mordecai and how they represented God in the Persian Empire. So let's give some context and background as to how we get to this point in the story. In the 6th century, the Babylonians defeat the kingdom of Judah and send the Jews into exile. After this, the Medo-Persians overpower the Babylonians and take over the empire. Now, it's during the time of the Persian that Esther becomes queen and Haman starts his plan to exterminate the Jews. Now, to these Jews living in exile, the Lord had given them a message through the prophet Jeremiah, saying to them, do not wait in idleness. I've got a plan. In the meantime, explore every good opportunity, thrive, be the best version of yourself. Now, where can we be the best version of ourselves in every walk of life? What to remember is this, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and you've got the landlord's approval. So dare to be more, explore and thrive. You have been approved, but while you do so, be mission-minded. The neat thing is Esther and her cousin actually took this advice and they ended up in positions of authority that came in handy when the chips were down. Who knows, if you took this advice, who knows how your preparation today will come in handy at a time in future. Hmm. Second thing to think about is that we're citizens of the kingdom of God. This means that regardless of where we are, when and why, we are governed by the laws of the kingdom of God. And when obedience entails this loyalty to God, we keep obedient to him no matter what. Third thing to remember is that being overt or covert about your faith is okay. But well, as I say where I come from, at all at all nine bad pass. Esther was covert about her faith, and that's a wise approach when there's open hostility to your faith. But Mordecai had to be had to go over it because bowing to Haman was a no-no. It would be open disloyalty against God. So let's try to imagine, you know, this situation. And we can help us understand that being open or covert, um, being um, overt or discreet about our faith is way better than being nonchalant. And let's just imagine uh, this conversation between Mordecai and Esther, where Mordecai is trying to let her know what's happening. And Mordecai is you know, basically saying to her, hey, Esther, there is, uh, there, there is a problem in the kingdom. Of course, Esther is living the palace life, so that's a bubble on its own. And she's asking, you know, what, you know what's going on? Um, Mordecai is saying, uh, Haman is planning a genocide here and we have to stop him because these are our people. And Esther is thinking to herself, oh no, what's going to happen to me? This is going to be dangerous for me. This is going to be risky if I take action. But Mordecai gives, reminds her that, hey, maybe you've come for such a time as this. And Esther takes courage and realizes that, yes, she's got to do it. At some point, we'll have to make a decision to either commit uh, ourselves to God for the greater good or be consumed by a desire for self-preservation. So in summary, folks, let's bring our main points together. We are advised not to be idle, to explore, thrive while being mission-minded because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Also, we are citizens of God's kingdom. And so wherever we are, we are under the laws of his kingdom. We can no longer remain indifferent. Being overt or covert about our faith is okay, but at all at all, nine bad pass. Finally, quit taking it personally because our mission is to save lives shouldn't leave you without saying, remember this, 
you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. So that's a wrap for this week, folks. Remember, like, subscribe, share, leave your comments. This has been your friendly neighborhood Sabbath School Doodle team here signing out for this week. And we'll see you next week. By the way, I don't really look like that. But that's not important. Ciao.